everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so i hope you're all having a great monday my hair is i just kind of left it today you know like i had it in pin curls and i was hiding the house and i was like you know what i'm not even going to brush my fringe out today so i just kind of left it so i hope you don't mind i am so happy that i've had my roots done because they were coming in so strong you guys and i was like okay they need to be done jasmine <laughs> Um, but today's video is about the red lipsticks that I have been using recently. So I did, I thought I had lipstick in my teeth there. Do you know that way you had that feeling that there could be something in your teeth? Well, I kind of had that feeling right there. <laughs> but anyway, so I did ask a few of you what you would like to see on my YouTube channel. And this was one of them. So I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. Um, so I did make a lipstick tutorial on what I do most days, pretty much every day, <laughs> um, apart from the days I take off. <laughs> um, I have that tutorial that's already on my YouTube channel, so you can go check it out. I'll leave a link for you at the end of this video so you can go click on it. Um, but recently, I do kind of like to change up my reds because I don't know, I think it depends on my mood, if I am out in the sun or something like that, which I really am, it's only if I'm taking my pictures outside um, and or in the pool. <laughs> and that's a bit, I don't really sit in the sun ever. That's probably why I'm so pale. And everyone's like, why are you so pale? You live in LA, like, why don't you have a suntan? And I'm just like, I don't know, I guess I just never go out in the sun. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going on a tangent. So I just thought that I would show you guys the reds that I have been using recently. Um, I feel that, yeah, I change it up because of, I guess, of my mood or maybe because I can't find my usual lips. <laughs> but seriously, I'm not gonna show you stuff that I only wear maybe once because that's in like a rare occasion and that's probably for something that maybe is to do with the dress or the outfit that I change lipstick for. But most of the time, I stick to the same colors. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I want to start off with my usual. So give me a second. Okay, sorry about the math. We are tidying up right now. <laughs> um, so my usual is this. <laughs> what was going on there? Sorry about my nails. I need to repaint them. But this is the Bobbi Brown um lipstick, and it's this one is my favorite <laughs> I mostly wear this one all the time and it is in I don't know if you guys can see it it's in Parisian red and it's a bit disgusting because where did you hear this you guys I thought it would be a great idea to leave my bag on the balcony with my lipstick in it um, and especially when it's so warm right now um, my mel my mel stick <laughs> <laughs> my lipstick melted you guys so it's kind of like a mush but I managed to like resolve it kind of like <laughs> it looks so funny but this is the color here and I will show you I did do a tutorial with this so if you want to see it on my lips you can see it on there I did put some foundation on my hand just so you guys can see it with foundation and I did one without so this is with foundation on my hand so this is the color I made such a mess and then this is just on my normal skin so you can see both, the pretty much doesn't change. <laughs> but this one is my favorite. It kind of has small orange undertones and then blues, it's kind of like a mixture. So I love that kind of thing. Um, and I do absolutely love this one. I, as you can see, <laughs> it's been through the war. So I definitely need to get a new one soon, but this one is my favorite, you guys. Um, and again, I'll show you. I always pair up with my MAC Cork lip liner. Um, I feel like it adds definition as well to your lips. Um, so I definitely would recommend like a brown or even like a really dark red um, would definitely help when you're trying to make your lips look fuller. Um, and yeah, so I definitely did need one of these because this one, I've had it for so long, you guys. And I always, um, if I, unless I'm in such a rush, you guys, I always use my Bessemi lip liner pen pencil brush. <laughs> what is going on today? Um, it doesn't need, I need to give this a wash after today. But um, yeah, it is such, such an easier way to put lipstick on and I didn't even know, and as well, you can put this in your bag and even if you top it up with your lipstick and you don't have room for your lipstick in your bag, you can top this up, like just put the brush over your lipstick before you leave, put this in your bag and then you can use this later to top up your lips. It's a good tip. <laughs> I found that out through Bassamy and I was like, I'm going to use that and it actually worked because I was like, uh, I don't know how that's going to go, but it actually works you guys. So 
a little tip for you. So that is usually my staples and then I would do the lip injection from Too Faced which is their little lip gloss. Not really lip injections you guys, I have not done any surgery because I've had a, people, a few people ask me, they're like you've had surgery and I'm like no, I'm like so scared of anything like that so I'm like no, <laughs> this is just real. Um, but yeah, but anyway, not real lip injection, it's just a lip gloss called lip injection. But I usually put that on top and also I pair up with my Kat Von D white, white out, um, white lipstick. It actually is kind of red right now because I've been using it and I do need to clean it off. But yeah, it's usually wet. <laughs> um, and I put that on the bottom of my lips to add definition and then a little bit of translucent powder. But you'll see that all in my tutorials, so don't you worry, <laughs> I'll definitely be showing you it, especially in my tutorial. But anyway, moving on. So, as this one is usually my staple, sometimes I like to change it up. So I'm not just boring and I just wear the same lipstick all the time. Okay, so recently I came across this little guy and it's from MAC. As you can see here and it is in feels so grand and it's their retro matte liquid lip color so for me personally i sometimes like to stay away from mattes because even if it's matte i like to add gloss so i'm just kind of like what's the point in that i mean i'll just go for like a glossier lipstick um but actually i like this one because it stays on you guys i mean the other one boy brown one does stay on but you need to like do so many layers and blot and then you will need to reapply. It's kind of like not one of those long lasting lipsticks, but it's a great color. So I, that's why I always have it. But this one actually stands for a long time. So this is the color on. So I'll put it on with the foundation and then I'll put it on with my normal skin. <laughs> so here we go. So this one is just without foundation on my hand. And this one is with foundation. So it is a little bit darker than the other one. And you, as you can see, the Bobby Brown has a bit more of an orangey kind of tone through it. Um, and this one's a bit more neutral. But it is a nice color. And it's a nice color on. And to be honest with you, even though it does, sometimes I feel that some mattes do dry your lips out. This one doesn't dry your lips out that much. It's just pretty much just a, a matte lipstick, which actually is great because I always find I always get chapped lips afterwards and I have to exfoliate and put so much Vaseline on or something like that but this one actually just does the job it's just a matte lipstick it's not going to feel moisturized or anything like because it's a matte lipstick um, and they usually are just dry <laughs> um, but your lips don't chap it feels good so it's definitely a good one so that's another one that I have been using recently and then today Da, 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 da. My hair looks wild, you guys. Um, I have on this one, and it's from Artistry, and uh, a really nice girl gifted me this um, for my birthday last year through my Instagram, um, and I am absolutely in love with this color <laughs> and the way it goes on. So it's this one that I have on, and I did put on. I'll show you. I think I brought it out actually. If I didn't, I'll have to run and find it. Um, but I do put um, an hourglass kind of lipstick lip gloss on top of this one and with my white um, lipstick and my cork lip liner. But this is it on you guys and it's so cool. Which is this? There we go. Wait, what? What did I do? Oh yeah, you twist it and it comes out. <laughs> but this is the lip colour. It's kind of, I don't know, I've kind of got some marks on it. <laughs> but you can see it on, but I, and then I'll show you as well on my hand, just so you can see. But you can see the consistency. It's a lot lighter than the other colors. It's kind of more pinky, but I kind of like it. And usually I'm not a fan of pinky rads, but this one I actually like. And it doesn't dry out your lips. It actually goes on pretty moisturized anyway. So sometimes I don't even put lips, lip gloss on. So it's kind of good. But this is another one that I have been using a lot, especially in some of my pictures recently because it tends to be the first one that I have, even if it's in the side of my bed, I always have one near me. So this has been it recently. What else have I got? Um, I also wear a lot of, did you guys even hear that? I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah, I wear a lot of Besame products and this one is Tango Red. And I absolutely love this one. Um, because even though it has, it's a red with an orange undertone, um, but even though it does have orange undertones, which I tend to kind of 
not go for something that's too orangey. I actually really like it. <laughs> um, this is it with the foundation, so I'll put it here so you can see. It's this one here it is a little bit more orangey, and then this one is just on my regular skin. It is a little bit more orangey than usual. <laughs> than I like any of my other ones, but I actually really like it. And Best Made products are so good, you guys. And they stay on for a long time, and they leave your lips moisturized. So I'm like, hmm, <laughs> this kind of is nice. Um, so I tend to wear this one as well, especially. You can see Tim in the background. He's wondering about it. Um, so yeah, I tend to use this one even if it's in my bag during the day. And even if I have this one on, I usually put this one on the top, and it actually comes out a really nice color. Maybe I can do it now. Maybe. I don't know. Should I add like music to this or something? <laughs> but this is it on top and I actually, I, I like it on top of this color. I think it's because that one's more pink and then if you add a little bit orange, it actually kind of creates this really kind of nice color. So I kind of like it. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like it. But yeah, so I'm just gonna put this back in. I have also tried, I have a few here. So one of the other ones are in my handbag, so I just brought these from my handbag, is my Victory Red, but story for you. So again, the other day, I left this lipstick in the car. It melted and I tried to put it on my lips, you guys, and it broke in half. <laughs> and it fell right onto my capris, which luckily they were repro, so they weren't true vintage, so I could just throw them in the wash and they're clean. But I was so sad because I absolutely love this color and this color is like really nice. It's like a true rad, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of sad that I can't even show you guys. But yeah, this is another one that I had in my purse and then this one was in my purse too. And this was Basimese Forever Rad, which is like this. It's really nice actually, you guys. I have been using it too. It's more of a kind of darker rad. As you can see there, pinky, a little more pinky. This is it in my skin tone here. And in there with foundation. So, I like them. <laughs> but yeah, these are the ones that I actually had in my purse that I thought I'd show you guys because this is stuff that I do put on and then I film some stuff. And yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys the lipsticks that I have been using. Okay, here we go. My hand is a mess, you guys. But yeah, but these are my staples that I do use a lot. Um, especially if they're in my bag, I literally like, I'll find one and I'll just throw it in my bag and I'll just mix it up with something else sometimes, but those are the ones that I tend to use all the time. The Bobbi Brown one in Parisian Red, I wear that pretty much every day, um, apart from a few other times where I drew the Artisserie one, the MAC one, and then some of the Basme ones. Um, I do love, love, love Basimese Red Hot Red. I love that one. It has like an orangey but blue undertones and it's a really nice red. Um, but I think it's in Maverick's car and Maverick is not here at the moment. So I showed you, I do wear it. It's just not here. So I couldn't show you guys, but next time I do this video, I will show you guys because I want to kind of start doing some more kind of things with makeup and show you guys what I use every day. Um, and just play around with some things because I did get some really cool palettes I wanted to try different eye looks with. I don't know, maybe experiment a little bit. <laughs> Even though I tend to stick to the same stuff, you guys. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely want to kind of do some different makeup stuff with you guys and some hair stuff and things like that. Even though I don't know if you guys want to see this tutorial for this one because this one's a bit of a, a weird one. <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm so sorry as well that I haven't been as active on my Instagram and my stories. It's because, I don't know you guys, I've had this tummy bug. I'm saying it's a tummy bug for maybe, I would say about a month and a half now. And I'm not going to do a sub story or anything, but I just want to tell you guys what's been going on. Because I treat you all guys as my family and my friends, so I feel like you guys should know. So I've had this really weird tummy stuff going on. Um, it's been really sucking, like really bad, and I've had hardly any en energy, and I'm like, I don't want to let you guys down, I still want to put videos out for you guys, I still want to put my makeup on, and just feel good within myself, but it's hard because I literally have no energy right now, I'm struggling to eat some meals, so I have to eat like really small meals, um, and I'm hardly getting any sleep at night, so I'm just trying to keep pushing forward and hoping that it gets better, I have... Oh, the dogs are working. 
but I have been on some medication so I'm hoping that that works so that everything will be back to normal for you guys. <laughs> guys, come on. Come here. My whistle is so bad. Come on. Come on. You listen to me? They hear the dog next door and they just bark. Okay, they're fine. <laughs> so, yeah, I have been on some medication to try and fix it. Um, and if not, then I'm going to go back to the stomach doctor to see what is going on. Um, so I've got my fingers crossed that everything can be resolved soon um, because I need my soup, you guys. And I miss my spicy food um, and McDonald's. I'm not going to lie. I really miss some really nice foods. <laughs> because all I've been having right now is literally rice, vegetables, and maybe the odd bit of chicken or fish and I'm just kind of like I need some more flavor I don't know I want something else but it's what I have to deal with right now and hopefully it'll get better very soon um, but yeah so I, but also I have an event coming up this week so I need to make sure that I'm a-okay for that <laughs> because I don't want to miss out on that it is gonna be a really cool event that I can't tell you about right now but if you stay tuned on my Instagram on Wednesday, you will definitely see where I'm at and what's going on. And I will be filming it for you guys so you guys can see. Um, and what else have I got going on this week? I don't know, it's just lots of stuff going on. Um, I do have, it's Maverick's birthday on August 27th, so I have to plan for that. And his mom's gonna be in town for a week then. And then my brothers come, and then it's gonna be a crazy September. So stay tuned for that because they're gonna be in my videos and all my Instagram stuff, so, and they're lots of fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's about it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so, so much for all of your answers to my Instagram stories because it's helped me a lot as well because I want to make content that you guys like. I don't want to make something you guys are like, oh, that's boring, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to know about it. Um, so yeah, I hope that this one was okay and if you like it, please leave a like and a comment and if you have any other ideas, just leave it in the comments um, and don't forget to subscribe because that would be amazing. Um, yeah. So I think that's it for this video. So I hope you have a great week and if I don't see you on any other day this week, I will see you on my Instagram and then I'll see you back here on Friday. So have a great week and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.